Hello friends, welcome to my channel Electrical Master. This video we are going to discuss about how to read the schematic diagram of DOL motor starter. Let's go to the video. DOL motor starter. It is a mostly used starter in the electrical industry. Uh, even our channel I have posted two, uh, two more videos about the DOL motor starter. Uh, how to read the SLD diagram how to connect DOL motor uh, with the PLC, all the things already we were discussed. So this video, uh, what I am thinking, we will discuss about how to the wiring diagrams and the schematic diagrams are there, how we can read it. Let's go to the video. See, this is the uh, DOL starter schematic diagram. Uh, if you are looking this video, uh, this picture, maybe you are getting little doubt, but it is very simple. Con uh, connections I will explain it uh, if you are seeing this uh, picture actually it is having three parts the first part it is the power diagram also called power circuit and second part it is called control circuit and third part it is called the DCS or SCADA unit so this uh, schematic diagram having three part combined with the single diagrams now mostly in uh, industries like uh, refineries or even in the any uh, industrial power station mostly the LT switch gears they are having the motors uh, with the DOL starter and it is in the MCC panels uh, before going to the video uh, I will show the pictures of the MCC panel uh, see this picture this is one of the MCC panel MCC means motor control center uh, from this unit only we are controlling the field motors in industrials okay uh, these two panels it is the power supply in commerce for this uh, MCC panel and these are the outgoing panels so each panels having connected to the each motors you can see this uh, uh, panel this particular outgoing feeder it is called a cubicle this cubicle it is having uh, select having the power main in uh, control supply to turn on the power supply for the motor this is the one isolator or off another you can see here these are the indication for motor start stop and also trip and you can see here the local uh, test to push button and emergency stop and also here it is having the selector switch for the uh, motors it is for a local operating or remote okay so this is the basic idea uh, for the MCC panel now we will see the schematic diagram how we will uh, read and also uh, before reading that you just see this uh, black diagram of MCC normally the MCC panel uh, it is uh, having the uh, command usually receive from the DCS or ESCADA unit for example from the uh, operator is giving the start or stop comment of the field motor through this MCC panel. So MCC panel will receive the command from TCS or ESCADA unit and then it is pass that command to the field motors. So this is the black diagram of MCC panel. So now we will see this diagram uh, drawing and we will uh, come back to this black diagram. Then you will understand the uh, interconnection between this black diagram and schematic diagrams. Okay so uh, this is a schematic diagram first i will explain this uh, power circuit ryb supply 440 volt will connect it to the control fuse and isolator so when you turn on this isolator only this power supply will go into the magnetic contactor supplies when the magnetic contactor get pick up then it is further transferred to the field motor okay so i told you uh, this black diagram so this is motor normally power feeding from MCC panel to motor but when it is getting uh, the motor is running it should be this contactor should close the contactor is controlled by this control circuit whenever this control circuit is energized then that time only this contactor will get closed that is the concept now we will see the wiring how they are done from this uh, power supply power circuit we are taking two uh, wires uh, R and uh, Y and B we are taking with uh, control fuses 
it is connected to the control transformers here i am using the single phase control transformer so two phases i am connected here from the secondary side also i am have received the uh, from 440 volt to 110 volt step down so secondary uh, one winding i am connected to the grounding so that line it could be a neutral line so i connected with the neutral link and phase line i am connected with the control mcb when i turn on this mcb power supply will connected to the selector switch i show in that uh, cubicle diagram the selector switch that there the power supply is control supply is going whenever i select the remote position that time that the power supply will uh, will going like this way so here there is one interlock this interlock is nothing but this isl whenever uh, main isolator button is closed that time only we will receive the power here so like that this is the one of the interlock so if it is closed then this uh, selector switch also will be closed here so power supply further it is connected to the stop push button of the local that mcc panel stop push button so when uh, normally stop push button in nc contact then this power supply will connect it to the nc contact of the overload relay so until overload relay will not receive any uh, faulty current or overload current this relay will be nc normally closed so further that it is going to the terminal this is called a test uh, this is called terminal block from this terminal uh, block this uh, K power supply again control supply will going to connect to the external panels this external panel is it is called a IRP panel normally uh, it is uh, standard uh, standards like uh, IRP interface relay panels from this panel they are also having some terminal connections over there you can see from the first pin uh, here we are taking the 12 core 2.5 square mm cable so from this configuration dual cables are taken out from the cable you have to just see this number here it is going like one it is going to this uh, interface panel one so x1 it is going to connect from the secondary side of this x1 it is going to connect to the uh, dcs or uh, eSCADA panel stop push button from the stop push button normally nc contact so the normal uh, nc output will come out the x2 terminal from the x2 terminal this power will taken out from 2 number 2 it is going to the number 2 see here it is coming here number 2 from this number 2 and 2 and 3 pin is short circuit so whenever 2 is getting receive power it is passed to the third pin so from the third pin it is going number is 1 it is taken out it is going to connect the local control panel of the field motor I told in the black diagram see here this motor also having the local and the remote connections so field motor there is a small uh, JB is there there you have to put it in a remote or local control so this uh, this supply content volt further it is going to this way from the one number one this terminal one it is connected to the stop push button of the field distribution panel so field panel if it is stop it is coming to the second terminal block from the second it is connected to the third uh, terminal from the third terminal it is going to local selector switch of the motor if it is motor in the local means you cannot you, you have to start only from the way of local start push button otherwise if you are make it in the remote in the field side then this supply automatically bypass to here from here it is taken out to the terminal number 5 so from the terminal number 5 cable number 4 it is taken out from here cable number 4 is going to connect cable number 4 see here here coming here this terminal number 5 from this terminal number 5 it is connected the two connections are there one is short to the sixth one another also going to the MA or relay contact this MAR is nothing but motor available relay from here the neutral line is extended from this this contactor negative is easily received positive from this line so the magnetic uh, this MAR uh, contactor will energize MAR contactor energize means uh, it sends the motor is field side they are putting in remote mode for that purpose only they made here uh, one contactor okay so uh, 
this side if you are seeing the first supply connected to the sixth pin from the sixth pin it is taken out number three it is going upward and it is going to connect number three so from here it is connected to the x3 from x3 side if you are seeing this is for the remote start in the dcs or is keda panel so remote start if operator is, is giving the remote start command the command is written back from the x4 from the 4 it is connected to same way of coming here uh, same way of coming here the um, the fourth pin number 7 so from the number 7 it is connected to this line it is going to the number 14 terminal from the 14 terminal there is uh, 14 15 and 16 all short link so 14 once power receive it is going to connect number 16 from the number 16 this positive supply will connect it to the coil supply of the this main contactor so the main contactor positive will be connected in this way and negative will be connected from neutral transformer so this contactor will energize so the contactor will close this contact so the main power supply 3 phase 440 volt will going to start the motor so motor will run so, okay now we understand motor is running so how the indications are working for indication you can see here from this uh, top line uh, power supply from the face it is taken out from here it is connected to the uh, two lamp three lamps over here this lamp neutral is directly connected to this green lamp here neutral is directly connected to the red lamp from here positive supply will connected to nc conduct of this magnetic conductor whenever this magnetic conductor is uh, off or open that time this nc conduct will be closed whenever it is turn on it is closed that time this conductor will be closed so this normally uh, nc conduct will be used for the motor off condition and uh, this conductor close can uh, no is used for the motor on condition okay now unlike that way these indications are working you can see here another indication that is mentioned as uh, a that is used for the tripping so i already told normally this fast supply will connect it to the nc conduct of overload relay so whenever this overload relay is uh, realize any fault over current or anything that time this overload relay will uh, activate and it will open uh, nc to no contact so from this nc to no will be closed so the fast supply will connect it to here from there it is coming out it is going to connect this lamp so we will receive motor will be trip due to the overload and same way you can uh, another relay they are connected here 74 this 74 they are used for the purpose of uh, external alarms so whenever this real contactor is activated this no will be closed from this no they are taken out alarm of this locally or uh, in also in uh, outside the motor is trip for that purpose they use this external uh, contactor and also the operator how they know the motor is running or motor is a fault or a, uh, motor is available those indication they are received from this NO contact of here you can see uh, for example this motor running so motor running normally received from the command number 5 you can see here this command number 5 and, and for here uh, command number 5 uh, you can see this ss1 ss1 means selector switch in uh, in remote position means it ss1 will be no close and uh, this contactor cc6 means main contactor no so this is also while running time it will be close and it is come back that fast supply will going to connect number six it is going there number six written here so they uh, identify motor running similarly uh, motor available means it is coming from the seventh you can see here 7 it is going there in this way 7th 7th so the remote position motor available delay if uh, contact is active to me the NO will be close here so the positive supply will go in here so it is going to pin number 8 it is going to connect upside 8 so motor available indication they will receive similarly motor fault so select a switch in uh, on position remote position so s3 will be closed and 74 I told you for the external alarm contactor if it is activated this NO used for 
uh, alarm and also it is giving to signal to the motor fault from window is closed same number 10 it is taken out it is connected to the terminal number 10 in the external interface panel from that operator they understand particular motor is trip or fault this is the uh, concept of uh, schematic diagram of DOL starter mostly up to 15 kilowatt or uh, less than 15 kilowatt motors mostly this configuration only they are using in the industry uh, I hope now you understand how to read this uh, schematic diagram if you have any doubt you can write it in the comment and if you really like this video give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel thank you